Hi, in today's lesson we're going to talk about states of matter and heat transfer. We're going to start the lesson with the card sort activity where you get to sort the cards according to the different states of matter. Then we're going to move on to the lab where ice melting experiment. There you're going to write an observation about density cubes. You're going to write your own prediction on what density cube will melt the ice first. Then you're going to watch the video on misconception about the temperature, and then we'll do the classroom reading about, of the lab instructions. Then you get to move on to the experiment, and then you will work on writing a formal lab report. The standards that we'll cover today, the ELA standards of sixth grade, the, one, the first one is follow precisely the multi-step procedure when carrying out experiment, taking measurements, and perform a technical task. The second standard is conduct a short research project to answer questions, including a self-generated question, drawing on several sources, and generating additional related focus questions that allow for multiple avenues of exp exploration. And your science standards for today, you'll develop a model that predicts and describes changes in particle motion, temperature, and state of a pure substance, then thermal energy is added or removed. So the, acti the first activity you're going to do is the cards or activity. On your desk, you see many cards, so I want you to sort them out according to the different um, states of matter. Then when you're done sorting as a group, I want you to come up with different characteristics that each of those uh, states have. And I want you to write them on the whiteboard, and when you're done, lift your whiteboard up so I know that your group is done. Okay, great. You guys will have five minutes on that activity. I see that most of you are done, so, and a lot of you did writing on your whiteboard. So there's a short video that talks about different states of matter. So now when we're done with the video, I want you guys to look at the second part of the uh, of the activities today and that's we're going to move on to our lab. So on your desk you'll see density cubes. Each density cube has it feels different, it's made out of different material, it might even smell differently. So I want you to create a, 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 I, want to exp I want you to explore and then create a Venn diagram that's similar to the one that I made. I want you to write the differences and the similarities among those. And then I want you to think about how are they different. I want you to think about do they all feel the same, do they smell the same, do they look the same, what are its similarities and how are they different. Once you're done with writing down your similarities and differences, I want you to write a prediction. Which of those density cubes do you think will melt the ice cube the fastest? So you have five minutes for this activity. You can work individual or you can work with your partner at your table group. Okay, I see that most of you have your prediction written down. Let's check out this video. This video talks about what happens when we place the ice cube on the, on the density or on and this particular the example, he has like a little plate, and we'll see what happens there. And okay, so did you guys think that your prediction was similar to what the video was talking about? Okay, so now let's move on to our actual experiment. So if you click here, you will see. Um, the instructions for ice melting experiment. So on the instructions, you, you notice that it has purpose, it has introduction, it has materials, it has procedure, data analysis, discussion, and conclusion. So I want you to think about it because those are all the components of your formal lab report that you will have to do on your own. Before we move on to the instructions for about the formal lab report, let's read what we need to do in this experiment as a class. 
So for this, we're going to do classroom reading. We'll do popcorn reading. Popcorn reading is when we'll start with the volunteer who wants to read the first couple sentences and then he or she's done. They're going to say popcorn and the next person's going to read. I'm going to randomly pull out popsicle sticks. So whatever pop with the number with your student number. So if your number is next, then you're going to be the one reading. So everybody has to pay attention where we are. And another thing is the, the minimum you'll have to read one sentence and the maximum you have to read a one paragraph. So let's start reading. So now when we are all done with this, I hope everybody knows what you guys are supposed to do. Let's move on to our next thing. So the next thing that I have is your formal lab report template. On the template, this uh, I put my name there, but you guys make sure to put your name and put your date. On the template, it has all the same components as we had in our intro, in our lab instructions. So let's start with this. On the top of it, you'll need to put the date and the time and your name and the teacher who's your teacher. And then you're going to have to write an introduction background. The information from introduction background you'll have to get from your uh, lab manual that we just read together as a class. So look for the components, highlight the important aspects, paraphrase, and put it in your word and background and then introduction. Then we're going to move on to the hypothesis. And then the hypothesis, I want you to write your predictions. What do you think is going to happen? Which density cube will melt the ice the fastest? So you can use my sentence frame or you can write it in your own words. But it has to say something like, I predict that, let's say, metal, will met, metal density cube will melt the ice the fastest. I think this will happen because... So and then once you're done with hypothesis, you have to list all the materials. I list this materials. There's way more um, density cubes in my materials than in yours. So make sure don't just copy my stuff. Look at the density cubes that you have and write your density cube and your cubes and your materials. Then you'll have to move to the procedure. Procedures are this, the, the list the steps of what you're doing. So what's the first thing you're going to do? The first, you're going to take the ice cubes and you're going to place it on your density cube. So and then you're going to write that as a step one. And then what are you going to do next? You're going to take the timer and you're going to put the timer on. You're gonna, so put that as a step two and so on. So if you're having a hard time coming up with the steps, go back to the lab manual, look at the procedure there. And use that, just paraphrase it, don't copy and paste, paraphrase it, and put that in the procedure. For data analysis part, I created a table. You guys can create a similar table, density and specific kit for each density cube. So you can use some of the, some of the uh, information from my table, create your own table. And then for the time takes to ice to melt, you will put your own time. Let's say you put an ice cube on the copper and it took you 55 minutes for the ice cube to melt. So here instead of 75, you'll have to put 55 and so on. Then when you're done, oh, the two other things I want you to do. So I want you to pour the capture on the table one and tell me what this table is. And underneath the table, you put table one shows. And then you tell me what is your table. Then you know, I'm asking you to create a graph. So you'll take time versus thermal conductivity. So let's see. Let's see if you have a copper, a wood, and acrylic. So you'll put the thermal conductivity for copper is 385 and the time 75. The wood is point. 1, 2, and then the time is 123 minutes, and the acrylic point 2 is 135. 
and then you put these data in the table and then you'll have to have a graph. So for my graph, I had copper in the loop. <laughs> so you'll have to make um, I don't know, one or two graphs. And then for discussion part, you'll see there's two questions that I want you to ask, answer. Why the warm cube is the one on which ice remains frozen and the cold cube is the one in which ice instantly begin to melt? And then you do the second question and then end you write the conclusion. And that is it, guys. So I hope this was uh, helpful. And here is the rubric on how I'm going to be grading you. So these are the components of your lab report. Then journal and notebook. So if you write your observation, I'm going to check that. Questions and purpose. So make sure to answer the questions in your um, discussion part. And then I'm going to write the procedure and experimental hypothesis. And these are your gradings. Okay, thanks for listening. And that was it for today's lesson.